What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create the faded film look. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this in both Lightroom and Photoshop. So follow along if you've got one or the other and I'll put the relevant timestamp on the screen. Okay, so first off we'll start with Lightroom. So essentially the quickest way you could actually do this is if you download my free, I repeat free, travel presets and you navigate to travel preset BA5 or BA6, so BA5 and BA6 both have faded film looks. How you would create it from scratch by yourself is by doing the following. So you need to navigate to the tone curve here and this essentially is all you need to be doing to get that faded film look. Create a point somewhere in the middle. Once you've done that, go to the lower point, the lowest point where the shadows would lay and lift that up. The more you lift it up, the more you're bringing up the shadows and the more you get that faded film look. To make it even more sensational, what you could do is the point you clicked in the beginning, if you drag that down ever so slightly, you can start to see the effect that it has on the image. Now, the more you drag it down, the more intense the effect is. So you have to dial it down to personal taste. As you can see, just like that, you start to get the faded film look and I'll show you a quick before and after. That's the image before and this is the image after. So it does look pretty good. And of course you can have your adjustments. You can start grading it, change the colors and all of that sort of thing. But I'm gonna show you how to do it in Photoshop now. So once you've loaded the image into Photoshop, what you need to do is go to filter, camera raw filter. And here we're going to navigate to tone curve. Again, if you wanted to, you can go to presets, download my free presets link in the description and go to travel preset six or travel preset five and you'll immediately get the effect. Or to do it from scratch, go to tone curve. Again, click a point somewhere in the middle then go to the lowest point where the shadows would be and lift it up. As you can see, you're starting to emulate the faded film look. Again, you can affect the intensity by going to the middle point and dragging that down a bit more. And you'll be able to affect the midtones, creating a faded look there as well. And again, you can dial it in to taste. All right, guys, if you like this video, share, subscribe, comment, like. If you want me to make more tutorials, quick tutorials, simple tutorials, then let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.